Uh, date goes horribly bad. Darren and Joan hooked up for a date through uh, jdate.com. Yeah, chick named Joan. She must fuck immediately. Joan. Uh, Joan, Joan, suck on my bone. <laughs> I think jdate <laughs> is a Jewish dating service. I Oi. Darren and Joan hooked up for a date through jdate.com. Oh, yeah, here it is. An online dating service that caters to Jewish singles. Ah. Their date took place on June 4th at the China Grill in New York City. At the time of the dinner, Joan offered to split the bill, but Darren insists on paying, believing she had agreed to see him again. Wow. Oh, so there had to be some kind of bargain going on where if she agreed to see him again, he would pay. If not, they they split it. What a shock God. this happened from J-Date. <laughs> I'm thinking, though, I'm thinking if you go out on a date through a dating service, you got to be a guy no matter what and just pay, even if exactly. it's not. Exactly. Pay. You pay. You pay no you matter pay. what. Although I like Darren because he's saying basically you didn't want to cough up any drawers, oh. send me fifty, whore. You gotta, you gotta support this guy completely. I'd like to take them both on H date. Wow. Yeah. That's gonna cost us. Doesn't uh, mean anything. See, uh, even Jimmy didn't really get it. Yeah, I did. It was uh, it's a little problem with that. What? Um, that name has been retired. <laughs> oh. Um, wow. Hey. uh... What? So They're being very all right. So Darren, <laughs> yes. So Darren paid the bill, believing that she was going to go out on a date, another day with him. On the evening of June nineteenth, two thousand six, Darren left a message on Joanne's home answer machine, telling her that since she didn't want a second date, that she should split the cost of the dinner with him. Following up with this email, it's fucking George Costanza from Darren <laughs> to Joan. Sorry, things didn't work out. I guess you changed your mind. Here's my address for the fifty bucks. <laughs> Take care, Darren. Wow. <laughs> he must have called her first or something. <clears throat> wow. Yeah. And then there's more emails that came in. You got to pay for the date. From Darren. Uh, okay, from Darren. So then she didn't she didn't pay, you know, give the $50, and he left his address and everything. So then he writes another letter to uh, email to Joanne. Joanne, I want to follow up on my email and call to you last night to ensure you to ensure you receive my message for the $50, excuse me, please acknowledge by replying to this email that you will be sending me the $50. I hope you understand from my point of view. Thanks, Darren. Wait, oh, do you know the date that they went out? Like, this was sent June uh, 4th. Oh, whoa, whoa. so 16 days later he sent her something? Yeah, he just wants his $50. She didn't call him in 16 days? Um, on the mm. evening of June 19th, Darren left a message on Joanne's home answer machine telling her that since she didn't want a second date, that she should split the cost of the dinner with him. So he waited about two weeks. About two weeks. So then Joanne replies, Darren, I just received your emails and also your message from last night. I was away and I'm just getting back this morning. I had every intention of calling you and meeting to go out, but your email has completely turned me off and I find it extremely, extremely, excuse me, excuse me, tacky. I will not be sending you any money since I offered that night to pay and you told me that you would take care of it. Uh, please not call me or send me another email. I would rather not hear from you at all. And for future reference in the dating world, you may want to rethink the tacky approach about asking someone for money like that. Perhaps that is why you haven't met anyone or have seen them again. Mm. Uh, 620. Darren leaves a voicemail on Joanne's cell phone telling her he was hoping she'd do the right thing. He threatens to issue a summons to get the $50 he wants for the meal. He calls her cheap in the voicemail. Uh, Darren needs to 19 over. minutes later, on that same day, Darren forwards his American Express bill to Joanne. A <laughs> hundred and twenty-seven dollars and eighty-three cents. A hundred and seven eighty-three more plus uh, a twenty-dollar tip. Yeah, do the right. Rounded it off lower than it should have been. Do the right thing, Joanne. Thanks, Darren. Wow. So. Here's the uh, voicemails from Darren to Joanne. Next message sent today at 10.03 a.m. from phone number 718. Here we go. Here's uh, here's more Darren to Joan. One or Joanne or whatever the hell her name is. Joan. Joan. Hey, Joan, Darren. I was hoping you were going to do the right thing here. Um... You know, disappointed, but I'm hoping you're going to turn around and do the right thing because I don't want to really keep calling you and emailing you and, you know, issuing you a summons, but it's your call for $50. Um, you know, I suggest you do the right thing. You ate food, you drank the wine, 
said, you're going to call. You never called. It's been two and a half weeks. So what do you want me to do? You know? You take advantage as far as I can see. And so, you know, my policy is, you know, first date, we go Dutch. He said you wanted to go out a second time. Oh. So I picked up the bill. His End of policy? story. But he never called me back after two and a half weeks. So I'm asking for the money. And so I'm hoping you're going to do the right thing. So be a mensch. And the next time you go around the meeting, you know, you know, be careful because don't leave guys on, which is what you did with me. Um, so anyway, all that is on the wayside. This is just business. And fifty dollars, please put it in the mail, and we're done. You never have to hear from me again. Otherwise, I'm just going to, you know, keep on top of this. And I don't think you want me to keep on top of this. It's your call. Don't be cheap here. Just get it done. Drop it in the mail and face Sayonara which is what I'm hoping you're going to do. Do the right thing here. Using Yiddish. Don't take advantage of people. Sayonara. You the food, you drank the wine. You didn't call back in two and a half weeks. Do the right thing. Bye. Holy wow. crap. He's a, he's a complete douchebag. Yeah. However, good boy. Why good boy? Fuck that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> fucking enough with taking these fucking broads out and getting nothing. Pay 50, stupid. Fucking Darren had his cock in his dockers already for a slathering. Oh. But then you're saying to the women out there, you go out on a date with with a guy, you got to give him action. No, exactly. Either fuck a, or pony up a few bucks. They made through. They they met through a dating service. They're both zeros. Guys still have to be guys. I think uh, if you're in that situation, you got to pay the bill no matter what. He Even said, "You know my policy." What well, policy? Policy. policy? What policy? A, he's got a policy. It's it's it's. Uh, you go Dutch. Unless there's going to be a second date, and then he'll pay. All right. Policy. Well, how about your policy should be meet her in a bar and lie like every other guy has to do? Yeah. And you say good for this guy, animals. right? He's a dope. I know he's a dope. I he like the fact one, that... two, three, four, uh, four voicemails, and then he gets the manager of the China Girl to call her. Add a boy. Here's the second good message. Good boy, Darren. Next message. Thanks. Today, to the boys that put this together for us, do we really need the, the time coding? Yeah, we certainly don't. Like, yeah. You forgot to leave the rings in. 2.35 p.m. <laughs> from phone number 7. Uh, we we got get right it. to the voicemail. Hey, I can do the setup. I wanted to follow up on my email to you. Uh, seems like you're sort of hiding behind emails. Um, if you care to chat, reach out to me. Um, I'm going to, you know, flesh this out, and you can only hide so much behind emails. And so, you're cool, but I'm going to flesh it out and, you know, reach out to you and pull your own issue to summons. And, you know, I'm going to call you down to court. So, it's your call. Cool. Um, you can hide behind the emails, or you can drop the $50 bill. Um, that you owe me in the mail. Um, my next call is going to be down to your employer, um, and I'm going to be going down to the courthouse very soon, probably within the next few days, and uh, issuing the summons. End of message. Is he still a good boy? <sighs> yup. No, come on. She fucking, she let him on, he coughed up some money, and his policy... Which is a douchey policy is you don't fuck, you pay half. Led <laughs> Good him. for him. I led him on? Yeah, exactly. She probably flirted and shit just to get her free mail. Hey, how about fucking, who's the president on there? I don't know who the president is. Yank out 10 Lincolns. <laughs> Let's say hi to Tammy in Texas. Yank out a Franklin and rip it in half. Tammy. Hi. Hi. Grand. Ulysses S. Hi. Grand. I was just saying, uh, how, uh, first off, how does he have the nerve to call her, leaving a message saying, "Don't be cheap and you know pay up"? When he's pretty being pretty cheap by calling, leaving messages saying that he owes her fifty dollars. Well, here's the deal: when you go out to dinner with a guy, here's how you say thank you for the meal. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you do for <laughs> dessert. <laughs> or you fucking suck his dick in the car. Sick of these fucking chicks not ponying up. This is all fun and games, but you really believe this, Jimmy? Yes. Yes, he does. Enough with the not fucking. They want to be liberated and equal. Stop playing games. Oh, I don't know. I just met you. Oh, Girls have morals, God forbid. Do they really? Then fucking 
cook your own dinner at home. Meet me for a fucking coffee. Morals. You don't mind siphoning money out of my wallet. <laughs> fucking horse. <laughs> oh, my God. You Good for you, Darren. You can't be serious. I am serious. You can't be serious. David, we have morals. That's right. Wink at a guy and get your free mail and then fucking amstray and don't call him back. What morals does she have? We got Leslie from Iowa. Leslie is is uh, disagreeing with you, Jimmy. Yeah, is she? Leslie. Jimmy. Yes, how babe. How you doing? What? You're usually such a sexy guy. Uh-oh. so wrong. I'm not wrong. I like my dick sucked. You are wrong. She said that she offered to pay 50%, and he turned her down. Because he thought she was going to go out with him again. And maybe she was, but then she turned her, you know, changed yeah, her mind. Yeah, the guy uh, got dumped the gun. No way. Th I'm not saying he he's not a... She met him. He's an ass. She was never going to go out with him again. He's an ass. He is an ass. But the bottom line is this. This fucking guy wants his cash back, and I love him for it. It's so awful. He's like, you know what? You didn't give up any puss. Send me 50. Pay me. Pay me. Oh, Pay me. come on, Jimmy. You don't really feel that way. I do. Fuck her. You don't. She went on her big trip cavorting and whoring all over Greece. Oh, tee hee. More <laughs> free dinners. Tee hee hee hee. Chuckle. <laughs> Uh, no. She's probably rich. All right, Leslie. Another voicemail. All right. Another voicemail from uh, this guy. Oh, boy. This one gets I, a little I, bad. I wonder which one it's going to be. <laughs> Goddamn rich cunt. <laughs> boy, I'm sure rich cunt. Big surprise there. Of course. It I thought you were actually going to throw the knuckleball for once. How did he say Jesus. hello to her Another when he saw her? Another fastball right down the middle. I'm, I, now, oh, here's what I'm wondering about the date. I mean, when he saw her, was he polite with his hello? Are you really wondering? Are you? Good evening. Yeah, <laughs> sounds uh, friendly. Yeah. And That's... then at dinner, he actually seems to be concerned. Food or <laughs> Was she thirsty? I never... Try the wine. I... The beautiful thing about her, the one thing I like, is she actually uh... did enjoy the wine. <laughs> yes. I'm pleased you appreciate good wine. I never thought I would wish for shining cliffs. Wait, how did that date end? I'm wishing... Was anybody raped, you see? Oh, hang up on the day. I'm oh, wishing... Oh, I'm wishing for shining cliffs. Uh, <laughs> Why didn't he just go over to the house and collect oh, them? I don't know. No. My health doesn't allow it. Oh, okay. Of course. Well, his health doesn't allow it. He's of on the course. phone. All right, here's voice. What's wrong with the good evening? Wait, now we got a girl that Hello, it ends. Frank. It ends very sadly. No, she's dead. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's say hi to Curry in Vegas. Curry. Hey. Hey, man. Oh, I God. agree. 150% with little Jimmy. Thank you. Thought, it's called, what it's called? I thought Curry was a girl. No, no. It's called a contract. No, the That's right. Contract. Consideration. She, she, she offered to pay. He said no. He counter offered with, I'll pay if you take me out on another date. She accepted by not paying. And the consideration was the food she shoved in her big fat mouth. Atta boy. She shoved it in. She didn't mind Darren's company when she was eating for free. Jimmy. What's that? She should have shoved something else in her mouth, and we wouldn't have these that, freaking emails, would we? She should have had a fleshy dessert. Uh, I exactly. tell you, What's I have it? never What's taken a woman out on, a, even a girl, when I was in school on a date. And not paid for the whole goddamn thing. I haven't either, month. like a dope. Never. I paid for everything. And there's been plenty of walking away going, well, that was a fucking disaster. Thank you. Yeah, great. Thank you. Would and you I didn't have a pot to piss out. in or a window to throw it well, out You would of. never follow it up with phone calls asking for money back. I wish no. I had the balls. All right, here we go. Yeah, right? I got a bunch of calls to make from fucking would 10 years ago great with interest. Day. Bitch, money. Here's, uh, here's the, the third voicemail from Darren. Joe, uh, Mr. Cannon, calling. I just got your email. Obviously, you know, we're at a crossroads. Um, you know, I really would like to leave off in a somewhat leisurely way here, um, but I, I am expecting uh, the money and um, really don't want to have to go above your head um, and, you know, contact your employer, tell them that you're dating on JB, and also uh, if you were summoned to help your job to so just. Fifteen dollars, I can do so, and I will. Um, so it's your call whether you want to get a summons at work, and if you if your boss wants to get a phone call from me, it's your call for fifty bucks. I suggest um, that you pay because I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna be on top of you. Um, you know, it's not like what you did. 
and so I'm not going to be taken advantage of, and so I'm not going to let it go. Right. And so it's your call whether you want to pay up voluntarily or not, but I will be reaching out to your board by the end of day today if I don't hear help from you. So it's your call, and I will be issuing a summons to your job for the money. Summons to your so you job? Food, you can the wine, you know, kindly pay your dinner. My number is 718. It's business at this point. Bye. This stereotype smasher <laughs> does not want to be taken advantage of. No. He's probably been on a lot of these dates. Hey, no. they, they meet on the dating service. They don't pass off. He's had enough. Maybe you'd have done better with some Manischewitz. <laughs> yeah. I can't have a game stagger out of here like a bunch of hobos. I'm hearing something else here. Something happened on that date. What? She uh, probably laughed at him or just kind of... Made herself look better. Like there was, there's something that Some, something. that got under his skin, and he's like, "I'll show her." Well, she said, "Christ he... is the Messiah." Yeah. This. I don't think. <laughs> why did Why didn't he get the money from I know, her then? I know this is a Jewish guy, but I don't know. I I feel like it's not about the money now. What? I think <gasps> there was something that went on between the two during the day where she showed no interest whatsoever and thought she was probably better than him. And uh, this is his way of just Rig getting back. Regardless, he wouldn't have waited 16 no, days for it. There's no reason for this. He wouldn't have waited 16 days. A lot of people saying this guy's a prick. This guy's a fucking. He's striking a blow for all of us. All right, let's go to the phones. Eddie from Whackbag. Eddie, it's Teddy, man. But this guy's a Teddy. fucking prick. What the fuck, dude? You go on a date, you suck it up, and if you don't get shit for it, you. Fucking deal with it. You're right, dude. But that dude, that's always the way it has to be for guys. He's just the tired of it. Dude, no, Jimmy. It's, I mean, I love you, man, but he's just like, you suck it up, man, and you deal with it. Yeah, fuck it. He's, he's right. All right, let's go to Dave. He's tired of sucking it up and dealing with it. He's, he's fucking, who knows how much money the guy makes. He's tired of dealing with it. He's it. Dave? Yeah, man. <clears throat> hey. All that comes out of this is he told the girl, you know, what he was going to do, and he got fucking played. That's all it comes out to. <laughs> yep. I guess next time the fucking guy ought to take her out to get a fucking Diablo sandwich and a doctor. That's right. <laughs> Snap right, me out right, of my goddamn right, hurry. I got another girl checking in. Lee from Jersey. What's up, Lee? Hi, guys. Um, I was just calling. I don't usually agree with Norton. I don't really care for him very much, but I love you guys. Oh, <laughs> Wait, Lee, why don't you like me? Oh. I, I just don't why like Why do you think? <laughs> What's that? But anyway. Um, oh, no, let's get I to the bottom of this. This is more important than your stupid point, broad. <laughs> Wait, you're not going to blow over not liking me and then get to your dumb point. I think but she has a valid point and let her yeah, make it to no. me. When people don't like me, I, let, I just let them be. I'm not hassling her. There's people out there that aren't going to like you. There's a lot that don't like me, and there might be one that doesn't like Anthony at this That's point. true. No. Uh, Lee. Okay. So, so why don't you like me, Paul? <laughs> you're going to have people that don't like you. I don't you care. Understand I don't say she has to like me. I just want to ask this fucking baby factory what it is about me she doesn't care for. Yeah, baby factory. <laughs> I said factory because yeah. I was going to say walking something, and there was an R that <laughs> slipped in. Uh, why don't you like Jimmy? I used to intern for your show, and he used to always make me get pink extra gum, and I couldn't find it, and he got mad at me, and I think that that's ridiculous, so I just don't care for him. Wait, you were interning for the show? I'm sorry? You interned for the show at NEW? Yeah, at NEW. And I'm usually very, very nice to interns. Well, you weren't nice to me. Anthony was okay. Opie was very nice. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait, You forget the fucking faces then, cunt. Because let me tell you something. No, I'm the nicest guy in the world. And maybe if and you're Opie's a scumbag and Jimmy's okay. Oh, and maybe now I'm getting involved. Wait a minute. Maybe if you you're fucking an asshole. I can I'm be an asshole. I'm the nicest guy when I'm not on the radio. I can be an asshole. You don't even know people's names. Maybe here. if you did your job and got somebody fucking pink, pink gum, gum you would only, still be in this business. I'm only an asshole on the show. Maybe if you were a well, judge of character. Up, I'm the nicest guy in the room. Maybe if she was a good judge of character, she I, does. I actually uh, know. The, that these the... people are have are humans. I was okay. You were just okay. Why you, was I just okay? You don't give a shit about no, people. When I am so cordial. Yeah, that's about you, it. You, you give the basics. Cordial, but you weren't big on like you know what? helping people out. Why should wait, 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 what was I supposed to do to help? Really, we don't I'm remember serious. you. What was you I made no you impact. Remember, what did you I made no I impact. What did I need to do to help that I wasn't doing? I help me help you. Yeah. What do you need to do? Drink and hit you like Dad used he was to do. Always playing that little quest game over in his office. EverQuest the... was very important yeah. to me. 
Oh, I appreciate that, and I think that that's wonderful. How did Opie help you? That's just Opie nice, probably. Helpful. He made sure that I learned some of the stuff. And like what? Sure that, Give well, me an example. Sudden, like the um, cool edit. He made sure that Rick sat down with me and worked me through. So Make sure Rick sat edit. down and taught you the right. cool edit. So what, what are you doing now, if you don't mind me asking? I work in sales. Yes, Are you, you still do. in the radio business? No, no, no. I left radio. Why? I bet you that pink extra incident chased you out when you realized you couldn't cut the mustard. <laughs> no, not All right, that. Shut your, up. That's your point because I got ratings. More important. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I was just saying, I happen to agree with Jim in this instance because... I don't want you to agree right. with me, gum fucker upper. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even get the right gum. Gum what good? Fucker. What happened? I don't know. He sent me out for gum. I got the wrong kind, and he yelled at me. Next time, get the right gum, and maybe I'll let you suck it in the hall. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> maybe I'll put you on your knees and let you plop that fat cock in your mouth and do this. That'll right. be your thank you. Oh, Didn't God, get yeah. your point out either, you goose. He sent me the pink gum, and I didn't bring the right type of gum. You know how I should have shown her what the pink gum was? The fucking, you know that dog thing you put in your mouth? That color gum. That's what I want. When did I blow that guy off? Who'd you blow off, Ant, you fucking fan hater? Let's go to Frank on Long Island. Hey there, Frank. Frank. How you doing, guys? Oh, Frank. Hey, how's it going? Hey, hey man. Uh, basically, I had to call Anthony out on the fact that when we were down at the studio, we turned around and uh, we were there the day that Jimmy broke the lunchbox. <laughs> Okay. Anthony turned around and blew us off completely when we were there. He basically said hi to us, said, oh, I'm going to the bathroom, and then took off after the show. Yep. Opie and Jimmy were great. Yep. Opie, you were the man. Thank oh, you, that's buddy. my M.O., by the way. See, I'm not going to sit here and take it. When these mics are off, I'm, I'm, I'm a treat. You are. Opie, you were excellent, dude. Yeah. You were a fucking a genius. What? Thank you. You were a genius. There you go. Oh, Look nice at this. On you. And I was nice, too, right? Yeah, you were too, you actually took a picture of me. <laughs> you all right. Uh, no, it was great. You took a picture of me, uh, you're like your ass hanging out. I got uh, my whack bag picture. There you go. Out. How many people would fucking, how many big, 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 big stars like uh, myself Frank. would show our asshole to you, Frank? All right, let's go to the fourth voicemail from Darren. I love Darren. And the last one, and then we got a voicemail from the manager at the China Grill. Still trying to get his $50 back because this chick would not go on a second date. Next message. Sent today at... 3.12 p.m. from phone number 7. Oh, one, God, eight. enough. Duration, 1 minute, 34 seconds. Oh, thank God we know that. It's not any inconvenience. This is down. I just got off the phone with the general manager of China Grill. I asked the person to reach out to you directly, um, and you can just, you know, take it as you wish. Do you want to settle the matter directly with China Grill um, and say, hey, if you share, it's probably the best way to go. Um, so the person will be calling you up, hopefully, you know, by end of day today. Uh, you can take a proactive approach and call them up directly. If you choose to, I would encourage you to do that um, and just get this matter solved. Um, you know, if we get this matter solved, as I said, I'm going to be issuing the summons um, if we can't get anywhere. So, obviously, you know, this doesn't benefit anyone. It's your call, and uh, sorry you're upset, but... You know, it is what it is. It's really just business at this point. So, um, I, you know, obviously I'm going to go forward. So, hopefully we can clear the matter up and just start leave. And it's your call. The ball is completely in your court. I outlined everything that I'm going to do, and I'm going to do exactly as I said. Um, I think you see that now. And it is just on your side whether you want to, you know, not do anything and just hide or, you know, Step up and pay the bill. Yep. As you said, you offered to pay once, twice, so do it, you know, put some money where your mouth is. Look, I'm looking to settle this nicely, but, um, you know, you're hiding and you're not acting right, so do the right thing. Yep. Bye. Atta boy. End of message. Atta boy. That guy's got nerve. There so does go. she, for not fucking coughing up some cash or a blowjob. At least jerk the guy off in the car. <laughs> Listen to him. You can hear he, nobody likes him. Fucking give the guy a hand job. Let him dump on his shirt. And then finally, here's <laughs> spilling on the tails of his shirt. Here's the voicemail from the manager at the China Grill. This will end this uh, segment. Sent today. Oh, we know when it was sent. Three, I mean, it doesn't 30, matter when three, it was sent. PM from phone number <laughs> two. Oh, my, two. Why? Duration 22 seconds. I just thought you might... <laughs> Hi, Charles. My name is 
here, Ms. China Girl. I understand there was a discrepancy with the bill today that we want to split it between you and your friend Darren. If you could call me back, your friend I really Darren. It, and we'll get this all settled in Chicken Jail. Thank you. All right, so that's just a oh, China Girl. Message. Now, do we have Darren's number, or was that beeped out when we got it? I don't know. We could have it. We could have it. Can I ask if we tried to get him? Maybe we could try to call him. Yeah, actually, it, uh, it's uh, fast busy. Uh, fast busy. That's that's never good. Nah, nah, do we nah, have nah, her nah, number? That one. That's a bad one. Just his. Okay, let's try to get him on the air. Just tell him to someone who agrees with him. A lot of people thanking Jimmy for sticking up for the common man. The common man. Jimmy's paid for a lot of fucking dates and gotten nothing. The uncommon ass. That's what that guy was. The guy is the epitome of a douchebag, and his house should burn. Ooh, wait. That, uh, that's Jim Norton Ooh, talking. That's uh, Jim Norton. I'm simply saying the guy's a douche, and we know it. All right. He wanted more for his m money. More bang for his buck. <laughs> that's what I was or some to bang for his buck. Well, how about just a fist around his bag for his buck? <laughs> Little tug.